Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me again on this October the 4th edition of Carry Your Cross. Thank you for tuning in. It, it so encourages me to be able to do this and to have interaction with you and your families this way. And I want to begin today by asking you a very pointed question, as I sometimes do. I will again right now. If you didn't know how old you were, how old would you be? It's kind of an interesting question, do you think? And I'm reminding reminding us all of that question because my body is hurting this morning, uh, to be quite honest. Uh, over the weekend on Friday and Saturday, we did extensive work for about five or six hours on Friday and about uh, the same amount, of, same amount of time on Saturday, lifting, moving, bending, and all of that. And now my shoulders are hurting. My, <laughs> my knees are hurting my back is hurting you know i mean it's just it's just part of getting older and so many of us don't want to accept the fact that we are not as young as we used to be you know i can remember that when i went from age 29 into 30 into my 30s i really had a hard time with that uh, up until that time, you know, coming through my adolescence and coming through 20, uh, the 20 uh, year old, you know, ages there, um, I really didn't have that big of a deal. But when I went from 29 to 30, it really depressed me. Uh, it really concerned me. Now, now that I'm 54 and I've come through my 40s and my 50s, it really doesn't bother me as much anymore. But there was something about becoming 30 that did. And I believe it had to do with the fact that I had to embrace the fact that even though my mind felt young, I could not turn back. We could not, or I could not go back into my adolescent ages. And I understand the law of entropy, which says that natural processes are only headed in one direction. So I understand, and hopefully you understand, that we are all deteriorating. Now, I know that's kind of a bad thing to think about on Monday morning, but there's a point to this. Because even though our bodies hurt sometimes, even though we realize that we can't go back and recapture our adolescence, at least physically, the Word of God says in Paul's writing in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, beginning in verse 16, he says, therefore, we do not lose heart. In other words, we are not to compromise our hope or our peace and become depressed based upon something that really we have no control over. He says, therefore, we do not lose heart, but though our outer man is decaying, yet our inner man is being renewed day by day. For momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory far beyond uh, all, com all comparison, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal." And that speaks to me today, and hopefully it speaks to you. Because even though I'm sitting here with my shoulders and my back and my knees hurting, and as I get up from this desk, sometimes I've got to stretch in order to move forward. On the inside, God is doing something that is not so much seen, but it is felt, it is being realized. Through the presence of the Holy Spirit, even as we grow older physically, mentally and emotionally and spiritually, he is strengthening, strengthening us internally. He's making us younger in a matter of speaking. And even though we realize at times that we have no control over our age. We have no control over the trials that come into our lives. We have no control over other things that we confront. 
uh, pretty much on a daily basis. God is always with us. And he's always encouraging us. He's always giving us hope. He's always giving us joy. He's, already, he's always renewing our strength on the inside. And I believe that that is a truth that becomes all the more important when we face the, the realization that we can't go back and we can't recapture our youth. So this morning, what does all of this mean to us? It means that we don't have to chase the ever elusive promise of youth. It means that we can fix our eyes on the eternal rather than on the temporal or the worldly. It means that we don't necessarily have to place all of our faith uh, and our, you know, in all of our self-worth solely upon the temporal. And when aches come and backs hurt and knees, you know, don't feel like they once did, then we can take joy in the fact that even though we are becoming older, God is renewing our youthfulness, our zest for life, our relationship with him, our faith, our hope, our joy, our peace on the inside. So again, I ask you, if you didn't know how old you were, how old would you be? You see, every single day as we move forward, we are confronted with things that we have no control over. But with Christ, it may, he makes all things bearable. He makes life and the journey uh, that we're on worth it all. And I pray today, if you've never given Jesus Christ an opportunity to renew, to renew uh, your faith, to renew your hope and your joy and your peace, if you've never given your heart and life to him, I pray that this morning you would you would do that. He's my best friend. He's never left me, nor will he ever. And even though my body hurts at times, my heart uh, is, is, is so full, knowing that no matter where I go, no matter who I'm with, no matter what I'm doing, that the presence of the Holy Spirit is always with me, no matter what. So I pray that that will encourage you this Monday uh, as well as the days ahead. Until next time, this is Pastor Lane Collins here at Mount Calvary Baptist Church. I'm just encouraging you to continue carrying your cross into a world that is lost uh, and is hurting. You be the ambassadors that God has called you to be, uh, all of us to be, and let's bring light into a dark world. I love you. God bless you. And I'm praying for you.